Aquarius and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel Aquarius, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below along with that notification bell. That way you can be notified anytime I go live or post new content. So Aquarius, this is going to be your April general collective reading. All right. So please do keep in mind that the reading will not resonate with every single Aquarius. So please check your moon and rising signs as they do play a factor, all right? So we're gonna start with some Oracle messages and go from there. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Source, please show me the messages for the sign of Aquarius, Sun and Rising and Venus. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Sun and Rising and Venus, please. We have dispersion, Aquarius. We have dispersion. So let's look at this card and see what message spirit wants you to know. Dispersion. It says, and I'm going to read what it says. Diffusing negativity. Yes, we don't want no drama over here. <sighs> no stress zone, right? No stress zone. We know better. <laughs> Aquarius, I'm splaying. We have circulate, revitalize, dissolve divisions, lighten up. Lighten up, right? Let go of some of that stress and that tension, Aquarius, this month. Um, try to avoid petty conflicts as much as possible or resolve them. Because spirit says, spirit says, restore harmony here. Restore harmony. Restore harmony. Be in balance with oneself, Aquarius. Or make things right between you and whoever needs to be made right. Or um, remove yourself from a situation. If you feel like it can't be worked out. If it's something that can't be worked out, remove yourself from the situation. Like, you know, you if you were wrong in any way that you apologize and you try to make amends with this person just as hell bent on not forgiving you, Aquarius, let it go. It's no longer your problem. You've done what you needed to do. You know, you don't have to spend your life living as a, as a big apology. You know what I mean? So take what messages resonate and leave the rest. So we're going to get into the tarot here. And see what message spirit has for y'all. Let's see. Hello, oh, spirit divine stars. Please show me the messages for the sign of Aquarius. Sun and rising in Venus. What messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Sun and rising in Venus. We have the nine of cups. Ooh, I like this energy, Aquarius. So for this month, you guys are going to be trying to be comfortable. Doing what makes you comfortable, Aquarius. What makes you happy? Um, the devil. Be aware of your own thoughts getting the best of you, Aquarius. Your own addictions, too. Like, whatever it is you're addicted to. Like, things that you just, you have a weakness for. Spirit says you got to practice some self-control. The fool. Taking a leap of faith, right? Some of y'all may be taking some risks this month. Be Be careful. Be careful. That's a warning. With the devil next to the fool, these are both major arcana cards, Aquarius. Be careful of what you're reaching out to do. Make sure you're not doing something like making um, like a hasty decision before thinking something all the way through because it could cause consequences with the devil here. It could cause you to be stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. Let's we'll see. Anymore. we have the six of pentacles the six of pentacles so for some of you yes this this month is going to be all about like i said balance um restoring harmony i feel like there may have been someone toxic in your life and i feel like also with this fool you you decided to to remove yourself or you may be deciding to do so aquarius let me know in the comment section if this relates i feel like for some of y'all this is a love situation um look yeah look we got the six of cups yeah, somebody from your past, an ex-Aquarius, may be trying to reach out to you to try to balance things out. I feel like this person has some toxic traits with the devil here. Um, But Spirit says to be, be careful before you decide to give to this person. Let them show you. The thing to pay attention to here, Aquarius, is whether or not the behavior has changed. <coughs> watch patterns. Not words. Watch patterns. 
Look. Temperance. Some of y'all may have been dealing with a Sagittarius who was a liar. And this person wants to come back now. They could have had a lot of drama going on, third party situations. Let me know if it resonates for you. Um, if it wasn't, it could be any sign for that matter. But this person is definitely going to want to come back, um, Aquarius, and get in your good graces. Because they know they were, on some, they were on some fuck shit. I had the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. And that tells me they were very manipulative and tried you. They tried to take advantage of you, Aquarius. Nine of cups. Yeah, this person wants to come back. And they want to they want to be suave. And they want to... They want to apologize. They may even show up with roses, Aquarius. Roses and chocolate. Baby, please. <laughs> please don't go. Justice. Justice. This is about a karmic cycle, um, you know, coming full circle. Because what goes around comes around. Trust and believe that karma will be served, right? And I feel like this person has already experienced their karma or they are experiencing it currently, Aquarius, which is what's pushing them in, in your direction to like... um come forward and make things right between the two of you yeah <clears throat> i feel like this person was non-committal whoever this person was they were non-committal yeah two of swords you probably you cut them off aquarius two of swords spirit says you moved on six of swords in the bottom of the deck you moved on you moved on out of the toxicity because you were tired of you were tired of it. For some of y'all, this relationship was purely physical, lustful, sexual. I feel that with the devil here because he's sexy as hell. Look, look, Aquarius. You you all had a lot of chemistry. There was a lot of sexual energy, chemistry around this connection. But this person, I feel like, was non-committal. They weren't giving you. You were you took a risk on this person because you thought that they were your nine of cups. You thought that things were gonna work out between the two of you. But this person refused to reciprocate the energy that you brought to the table with the six of pentacles, right? Now they want to come back and they want to make amends. Yeah, page of wands. They want a passionate new start with you after you walked away. Of course, you don't miss your water until your well runs dry. Tell me more. It's up to you though, Aquarius. I feel that, yeah. The sun, the sun. You're happy now. You are happy without them. This reminds me of that song by um, Halsey. Thinking you could live without me, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about? I think it's something, I don't know the lyrics to the song, but I just hear it in my head like, does it ever get lonely? Thinking you can live without me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Aquarius. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Yeah. Um, this person is really, really depressed because they know they sabotage this connection. They know that they could be happy with you. They've had some time to really reflect, Aquarius. They have the hermit. They've been working on themselves too. Spirit wants you to know that. You might have been dealing with a Virgo for some of y'all. The Eight of Pentacles, they've been working on themselves. They've really been reflecting. They've been working hard at work as well, working on their financial stability. For some of you, you may have been dealing with somebody who wasn't like financially stable, like in the material world that didn't have their shit together, like their basics, right? But they've really been putting in the work. And now they want to come in and bring an offer. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of them, they want to bring an offer and they want to see how you two can move forward. Six of Swords here in the bottom of the deck. So, Aquarius, the the decision is always ultimately yours. The tarot just goes into the energy surrounding the situation and it shows you a picture of what the energies are surrounding you, the people or the person that you're dealing with. And then from you take it from there. You decide from there. Every party decides from there what actions they may or may not choose to take, right? So that's been your general collective reading for the month of April, Aquarius. If you'd like to book a more in-depth personal reading for more detail in regards to your situation please book on aquarianimpresstarot.net okay let me know when you do i'll send you a personal discount code and we'll go from there all right thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and until next time love you guys